Okay, it's been about four minutes, and the butter and the sugar have creamed together very nicely. I've stopped the, the stand-up mixer a couple of times to scrape down the, the size of the bowl to make sure it is, it is, it is mixed thoroughly. But now I want you to take a look at the consistency and the color. You see the difference? It's a light, much lighter color, and the volume has increased. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, whoops, now what we're going to do is, we are going to, on a slow speed, we're going to incorporate the eggs, one at a time. It takes two eggs, two large eggs. I get farm fresh eggs. I find ingredients, whatever your ingredients are, always use the best ingredients you can possibly use because it makes a huge difference. So I'll put one in, egg in at a time. And you just want to do this until they, the eggs incorporate because when you beat your eggs too much, your cookies will come out with a tougher texture and you don't want that. Then I add about two teaspoons of vanilla. It's always good to use a good vanilla extract. This is pure vanilla extract. Normally, I would use vanilla bean. Went to the store to pick those up this morning, and unfortunately, the store was out of them. So I'm, I'm using a regular vanilla today. Okay, well that's slowly mixing. Now you're gonna take your flour, which is two and a quarter cups of flour. I like King Arthur flour, self-rising, all-purpose flour. I have a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. Remember when you're using baking soda and you have it on your shelf? You, know, you probably only want to keep it maybe six months on your shelf. It's, it's a reactive, active ingredient. So you need to make sure it's fresh and, and it works for you. So you mix that together with your flour and you um, whisk that together. And now I'm going to slowly add this mixture of flour, salt, and baking soda in with my butter and eggs and vanilla and sugar. You have I have this at the lowest speed of the stand-up mixer. I'm going to scrape these sides down again. actually do this part by hand if you wanted to, but the, the wonderful thing about a stand-up mixer is it can, it can run at a very slow speed, which is extremely handy. Now, so I'm going to put it back on slow, and I want to slowly incorporate my dry ingredients into the wet. And you don't want to overmix your dough. See that? Now I want to add in my chocolate chips. You can use two cups of chocolate chips or more. In this particular batch, I'm using about two and a half cups. I like Ghirardelli chocolate. Actually, I get the Ghirardelli double chocolate chips are my favorite. Add those right on in. Okay. Cookies are, the dough is ready. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> so you're going to put, um, scoop, uh, you're going to put drops of, of the dough onto an ungreased baking pan into a 370 degree oven and it's going to cook for about 11 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and this is about the size of the, this is about the size you would put on each one to make. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'll see you in about 11 minutes when I take them out of the oven. Thanks.